Hello, my name is Elizabeth Aristotle. Um, today we're going to be looking at Project Muse. That is another database that can be used for research in gender and women's studies, okay? So we have, we are here on the BMCC Library homepage. We're going to click on Databases. We're going to go to Databases by Subject and select Gender and Women's Studies and hit Go. So Project Muse covers literature and criticism, history, the visual and performing arts, cultural studies, education, political science, gender studies, etc. Right? Contains current full text scholarly journals which cover these fields and a significant collection of recent scholarly books. So these are the kinds of uh, search results you can expect to get when you're searching in Project Muse. Now, it looks very different from Gale, it looks different from EBSCO, it looks different from ProQuest because it is a different database, okay? Um, you want to focus on the search bar here, okay? So, what do we want to do? We want to search. So, we're thinking gender and women's studies, thinking about topics you've discussed in class. Um, let's look up women's rights. Okay, 136,701 results found. Not too much, much, much too much, okay? Um, so let's be a bit more specific. Reproductive rights, all right? All right, it's brought down to 24,000. Now I wanna lo only look at content we have access to. Wonderful. Reproductive justice, not just rights. Okay. That's from 2015. So that's within the 10 years um, in research that you should be looking at, unless it's something older that you need for research purposes. Um, let's look at the web view of this article. There's the abstract. You want to read the abstracts of the articles you're looking at to make sure it relates to your research, okay? You don't just but this is the whole article. Okay. So let's say it's something you like, something that interests you, something that you can use in your research. You can go ahead and download that, okay? So I've hit the download button and now we're looking at the PDF. Um, we're looking at the PDF version of the article, okay? And again, it has the information you need <clears throat> for your citation, right? It has the article title, journal, volume number, issue number, year, pages of the article, the DOI, uh, the press, University of Pennsylvania Press, right? And the date of access, right? So you would save the article by using this file folder here and saving it, renaming it as appropriate and saving it to your desktop or cloud or wherever, or you can print, all right? Wonderful. So let me get out of this article right now. So we're back to the web version, but I just wanted to let you know this is what advanced search looks like. It looks just like the original search result page, right? Um, so when you do get your search results, you come here and use these limiters to bring down your result amount, right? So we started out with over 100,000 results and we brought it down to about 2,000, right? And I only showed you the first um, resource uh, that showed up. but these are all the other limiters you can use to filter through your results, okay? So area of research, publication, you can choose last 10 years, last five years. And here in these search, box, search boxes, you can search content, title, author name, or publisher. I'm gonna recommend you stick to content so you're finding items that relate to your search term, okay? And then you wanna always make sure you're only looking at content we have access to, 
through through our subscription uh, with the college, okay? BMCC subscription with Project Muse, all right? Thank you and have a good day.